care about the extent of damage they're seeing. Winds of at least 80 miles an hour came through here a week ago today, leaving a lot of damage and destruction. The stables were hit. There were horses there. Those horses are fine. No horses or humans were injured in any of this, but there is a lot of cleanup work that now must take place. Well, you know, but last year we had some big ones too, so hopefully it's not going to be big as last year, but ended up in worse than that. A lot of rain and then wind came down hard on the breeding operation in Woodford County last Tuesday. Skylights were blown off a stable, a fence was heavily damaged, a large tree was toppled, and there was also damage on a paddock. Several neighbors also had damage across the road, including part of a tractor that the wind had picked up and then dropped. Several of the horses did have to be moved around because of the various damages. Within the paddock that, that destroy has to be, uh, come up and install for a couple of days until we get that uh, paddock repaired. And this is a very busy time of the year for these operations. There is breeding taking place. There is foaling taking place. Keeneland is underway. Mowing season is underway. A lot of work to do, but they say they will simply repair what was damaged and move on. In Woodford County, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. And the National Weather Service officials say both straight-line winds and a tornado caused damage there in parts of Woodford County last week. Now we are learning more about a Casey County man.